Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial or video about using the overlay instead of the canvas. I mean, I had a quick story is that when I was on the Big Island, we hiked in to see the volcano, the lava flow. And what we decided to do was hike in at dusk. And we figured by the time we got there, it would be nighttime. We could watch the lava flow at night. So the thinking was instead of hiking in at night and hiking out at night, we could hike in at dusk and hike out at night so we didn't have to go both ways in complete darkness. The reason I mention that is when we were hiking out at night, there's absolutely no lights and the, there's no trails, there's no markings. And the only way you could get back to kind of where the cars were was by following other flashlights, other groups of people with flashlights. And you could see flashlights coming in and flashlights going out. It dawned on me as we were following this group of flashlights, I was thinking, how do we know where they're going, you know, <laughs> not necessarily the blind leading the blind, but it's just like you're following somebody and you hope they know where they're going. I'm just kind of assuming they know where they're going, but I don't necessarily know they know where they're going. So anyway, I mentioned that with regard to Unreal Editor and Unreal Engine because a lot of times these tutorials will come out and everything's new. And so other people start making tutorials and everybody starts following everybody else and so what I notice is because a lot of the Unreal tutorials have canvases, you don't see very many that talk about overlays. In my opinion, I think overlays are actually better than canvas panels because they're simpler to set up and then you can actually stack elements on top of one another. So what I have right here is I have a trigger device and I've got a score manager and I've got a button and a verse device. And the verse device is paired with the button, the score manager, and the trigger. And the trigger is set here among the devices to, so if we look here real quick, if we look here real quick on the score manager, see it's set to increment to go up by 10. And then you'll see that the, the trigger is set to trigger it, right? And so every time I go over the trigger, the score manager will go up by 10. And then what I have is a button, and I press that button, and it'll display my score on the screen. And then I can click that button and the score goes away. So instead of having the score constantly displayed on the screen, I can control if it's on or not, or I can click the button if I want to know what my score is. So anyway, if we look at the code here, and this is the main point of this whole tutorial, is but we have our at editables and we've got our localizes message and we've got this mapping that goes on that we need to clear the UI from the screen. And then we've got these two subscribable methods and here's, here's the main point of this whole thing, is that I start using the overlay up here. So let me just hit Control F, and we can, I can show you all the places that overlay appears. So the overlay is specified here. When we create my widget, it's specified here, 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 and here. So there's five occurrences of the overlay. But if you look at the parameters that are required to set it up, this is all you need, really, is these three. The horizontal alignment, the vertical alignment, the padding. There's more to it than this, but it's a lot simpler to set up than a canvas panel. So I just encourage you to try using the overlay instead of the canvas panel. And if we just take a look at what this does, so there's the trigger, and I just walk over it, and every time I walk over it, I get 10 points, right? And then if I want to know what my score is, I can just click this button here and it's, it pops up up here. And then I just click this and it goes away. So it's just kind of a cool little thing. But the main point of this is to feel free to use the, the overlay instead of the canvas panel. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.